Hello everyone, in this lecture we'll learn how to multiply a number with 11. We'll learn a very simple method using which we can multiply any number with 11. For example, let's say 32 multiplied by 11, 322 multiplied by 11, 77 multiplied by 11, like that. Okay, so let's understand the trick. The trick is that I take the number and then in between the original digits that is 3 and 2 I put the sum of the digits taking 2 at a time. So the digits are 2 and 3 there are only 2 digits here so I'll take the 2 digits and I'll find the sum of that which is 5. So my answer is 352. To clarify more, let's take another example 322 into 11. So as I just said, the trick is between the original digits, I put the sum of the digits taking two at a time. So to find the answer, you can use this approach. The last digit remains like this. Here I take the sum of these two digits and put it here. So it is four here. Then again, I take these two digits and put the sum here, which is five. And then again, this is three. So my answer is 3542. I hope you are getting this method, right? Let's take 77. 7. Then I'll add the two digits taking two at a time. 14. Sum is 14. So what I'll do here, there's a carry here, you see, 14. I can't write 14 here. So what I'll do is I'll take the carry. I remember that the carry is 1 and here when I write this digit I have no other digits whose sum I can take now so I'll take the last digit as it is so I'll add the carry to it so it's 8 here so my answer is 847 now let's take the last example then we'll see the application of this method let's take 99 so what you need to do is use the same method last digit will be 9 then I have to take two digits at a time I need to find the sum of these digits 9 plus 9 what is 9 plus 9 9 plus 9 is 18 I get a carry of 1 here now I am left with no other combination of two digits so what I'll do is I'll just take the digit, digit as it is which is 9 I'll add 1 to it, so my answer is 1089. Let's take a big, bigger example. Let's say I have to multiply 3442 with 11. Again, start with the last digit, 2. This is one combination, this is other combination, this is other combination. 4 plus 2, what is 4 plus 2? It's 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 3 is 7 and the last digit remains as it is so my answer is 37862 now this method you can use to find the product of two numbers where one of the numbers is a multiple of 11 for example 22 multiplied by 45 here you see that you haven't been given 11 but you can convert it to a product where one number is a number and the other number is a 11 for example, 22 multiplied by 45, you can always write this as 90 multiplied by 11. What I have done is 22, I have written as 211, then 45 into 2 is 90. Now you have the number as 90. You will start with our method. Last digit remains as it is. Now I'll take the sum of these two numbers. So sum is 9 and the first number is the digit itself. So 990 is my answer. So I'll give you some examples 33 multiplied by 66 44 multiplied by 356 quickly tell me what's the answer of these two questions 33 multiplied by 66 how can I convert it to a product of 11 into something I can write this 33 as 3 into 11 so I have 11 to 3 into 66 right so 66 into 3 is 198, you know. So I have asked to find the product of 198 with 11. 
so as i have said many times we'll start with the last digit we'll write it as it is and then we'll take two digits at a time and we'll find the sum of those digits so first digit is 9 in plus 8 and the second combination is 1 plus 9 9 plus 8 is 17 i get a carry of 1 so i keep it now the next sum is 1 plus 9 that is 10 i'll add 1 to it so 11 so again i get a carry of 1 again keep that carry last digit is 1 itself to that i'll add the carry of 1 so i'll get 2178 so my answer is 2178 the second example which i had asked you was 44 multiplied by 356 now 44 multiplied by 356 you need to break it into 11 into something so start with 4 into 11 into 356 now 356 into 4 is you know it's 1424 4. so you have to find 1424 4 into 11 so we'll start with our as usual approach what i had just said 1424 4. the last digit will be the uh, digit itself now i need to take two digits at a time and then find the sum of those two digits okay i have three combinations 2 plus 4 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 1 plus 4 is 5 and the last digit remains itself as it is so so sorry the last digit is 1 here so it will be 1 so my answer is 15664 so how so you see that we have discussed a lot on this method now you would be curious to know what's the application of this method the application of this method lies in the topic mensuration where you need to find the area of a circle or volume of a sphere this is because in the topics of mensuration you get a very common term known as pi whose value you know is 22 by 7 and 22 by 7 you can write it as 2 into 11 so you are getting a product of 11 here you are getting a factor of 11 so since you are getting a factor of 11 you can apply this method to find a QK solution for example let's say i have been asked to find the area of a circle whose radius is 14 centimeters so i'll use this method pi r square so i'll write 22 into 7 14 into 14. so i have got 22 into 28 in this 28 2 i can break it as 2 into 11 and this 2 into 28 into 11 i can write it as 56 into 11 that's it 56 what's the product of 56 with 11 6 5 plus 6 is 11 i have a carry of 1 so the last digit i need to add that carry so i'll add 5 with 1 so i'll get the answer is 616 so my answer is 616 centimeter square okay Similarly, you can have questions where you need to find the volume of the sphere. There again, you'll have the term of pi, which will introduce a factor of 11. And since you have a factor of 11, you can use this method. So for your practice, I'll give you some more examples. Try finding the product of these numbers. And similarly, you can have many more examples. It's now your task to understand this method properly. You have understood this math method properly. Now it's your task to apply this method. So I hope you enjoyed this session. In the next session, we'll learn more tricks on Vedic mathematics. So uh, it's time to say goodbye now. Thank you.